I'm logged in to test out PC Pro. And you can see on the left-hand side that we have all the different chapters here. I could click on any chapter and to the right appear different sections and learning activities. We're gonna spend our time in chapter 11 on networking, in particular this section 11.9, network troubleshooting. You'll notice in here we have different icons represent different learning activities. The first icon is a video tutorial. The second one, a video demonstration. Then we have text lessons. Computer mouse icons represent hands-on labs, and we have section quizzes at the end. Note that also after students go through all the chapters here, we have full-blown certification exam prep for both the test out PC Pro certification, which is a certification that is included with student access, and also we have question banks to prepare the students for the CompTIA exams. Let's jump over to Network Pro. I'm gonna click on the section heading here, and when I do, I can see different questions that students will be able to answer after they've gone through the section key topics that will be addressed, and terms and definitions. Also, you can see listed certification objectives that are covered in the section. You'll notice on the far left and on the far right, I have these big arrows. When I click on those, they either move me up or down through the outline of content. Let's click on the right arrow, and this is taking me to a video tutorial. I can start this in standard or go into interactive. I'm just gonna quickly give you a flavor of, of what's involved with this. So let's jump into the interactive script where I have the video to the left and then the script on the right. In the videos, we use animations, uh, diversity among some of the people that, that you will see. Um, we just try and keep them visually engaging as students are learning the concepts or seeing demonstrations in our videos. I can click anywhere on the interactive script and it jumps to that location in the video. It's a great way for students to kind of navigate and go back and review sections in the video. Let's go ahead and click on the right arrow to move forward. We also have video demonstrations. For time's sake, I'm not gonna launch this, but this would work just like the previous video you saw, but now I'm seeing a demonstration. It might be hardware, it might be software. In this particular demo, I'm learning about uh, troubleshooting networks. This is critical for me so that I can develop my critical thinking as I walk through scenarios in these demonstrations. Let's go ahead and click on the right arrow to move forward. We also include text lessons. So there's no need for a physical textbook. We provide what would have been in that traditional textbook here within our own interface. All that content is available. Uh, like in the video transcripts that you saw before and in the text lessons, students can copy the text to clipboard by clicking here, or they can go ahead and choose to print out the text. Instructors like these because, well, they're very concise and not full of fluff. Let's go ahead and move on now. Let's click on the right arrow. This takes me to the lab. We actually want to access the second lab within the content, so let's go to that. So here's the lab scenario, the uh, fix a network cable two. Students will read through the lab scenario and then go ahead and click on start lab. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that lab right now. While the lab loads up, on the left-hand side, you can see the lab scenario reappears. Okay, the lab has just loaded up and now the scenario is there. I can reference that as I go through. Before we actually go through a part of this lab scenario, I want to paint the broader picture of the type of environments that your students will be able to engage with. So uh, I am an IT admin in this scenario, and this is my office, my workstation that I'm on as an admin, and I have these different tabs at the top. So let's go ahead and click on the hardware view, and this will allow me to see what equipment is available in the office that I'm currently in. Um, so this will pull up my hardware here. So I've got different items that I can work with. On the shelf, I have different cables that I might need to work with in different labs, hard drives, network adapters, and these will vary depending on the different lab scenarios that I might be working in and the many, over 110 labs involved with PC Pro. Notice to the right, I have an additional laptop here. Let's go ahead and click on that. This laptop's actually gonna take me into Kali Linux. And here I can launch Google, let's just pull up ZenMap as an example. I can launch Wireshark and actually even go in and view the network traffic. It's not part of my lab scenario, but I wanna illustrate the wide variety of type of uh, software tools uh, that are available for the students to interact with. Let's go ahead and go back to the hardware view. While I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and actually Turn off the power on my workstation. And I can go to the drive bays view. I can toggle to the motherboard view. Um, there's different things I can do here. So for example, I can scroll, zoom in. Um, I can move a cable here. I could click on a cable. 
when I do, zoom back out a little bit here. When I click on one of these cables, it highlights, but I can click and drag and put the tip of my arrow on another potential connection point. Um, you'll also notice that I can click on the power supply cable down here. So let's click there. And then across the bottom of my screen up here, all the different potential cables associated with my power supply. You'll be utilizing these in other labs, not this particular lab we're in right now. Let's go to another layer, the floor one overview. When I click there, it gives me the physical layout of all the, the floor that I'm on. Yellow indicates where I'm physically at. Let's say I'm working on a networking task. I can go over to the networking closet and choose hardware view. And so when I click on hardware view, it's going to take me in and allow me to see the server rack uh, and the instance of server 2019. For example, let's click on server 2019. I can go into the actual server interface. Let's go and uh, manage or go into tools and computer management here. And perhaps I need to change some access. Uh, let's go to users here. And we have the guest account. Uh, let's right click on that and go to properties. And I can see the account's disabled. Let's go ahead and en enable that. So I click on apply and the account is now enabled. Let's go back over to the networking closet. And as we get in there, um, I can work on the patch some cables here. So if I click on a cable, both ends of the cable highlight, so I can click and drag. What I do here on the server rack actually affects the entire network. So all those other workstations uh, may be impacted depending on what I do here. So it's all the software, the hardware, the different tools are all integrated within this lab experience. And by the way, while I'm going through the lab, it's keeping track of what I'm doing pertaining to the scenario. Let's go ahead and click on floor one overview. Let's go to the executive office and click on the laptop. You'll notice that this laptop here has Windows 10, whereas if I toggle back over to where we started, so let's go to the hardware view. I actually left that computer off, so it's not showing as available to go right into Windows. So let's go to the front view here and boot up and go into Windows. There are some labs that when you're booting, you can go down and click here and actually take it in the BIOS and you can change settings in the BIOS. So a lot of wide variety of experiences your students are gonna gain. The scenario on the left though, which we're gonna now start to work on once we get into Windows here, is again, we're an IT admin and we just received a call from somebody within the company saying, I can't log in. Um, I can't get internet and I need to get to work. Can you guys help me out here? So you've had that service call. What we want the students to do is go in and launch the ticketing system. Before they even get into this lab, by the way, we expect that they have some experience and understanding of how ticketing systems work. We we'll also expect that they know how to uh, enter PowerShell and use the IP config command. We expect that they have some experience uh, with troubleshooting because they're going to be doing troubleshooting in this lab and actually recognizing whether or not a network cable uh, is faulty. So we're going to experience those type of things as a learner in this lab. Let's go ahead and click on the ticketing si system and log into that or log that um, call that we had and open a ticket. So I'm going to, for time's sake, just copy and paste some of these things here. But the summary, I cannot connect to the network, the description, they came in this morning and cannot access any network devices on the internet. The information from the person who called me is Joshua. So there's Joshua's contact info. And then we have the Office 2 uh, Windows 11 is the location and the software that's of their device that's having the issue. We know that the, <clears throat> the priority for this is high. So let's label that as high. Um, we're going to change the assignee to Josh Anders Joshua Anderson, who is the one that called me. We'll have the date and then the category. We're going to select network. Let's go ahead and save this ticket. Now I need to go to Joshua's office and actually start working on resolving the issue. So let's navigate over to the floor one overview. We know it's office two in the workstation there. So let's go ahead and pull that up here. Now there's a few things that we need to do. On the bottom right, first of all, I noticed, yeah, indeed, there is no internet access. So that's something wrong there, but let's also run some other tests. Um, let's go ahead and right click on the Windows icon and go to Windows Terminal. And we ask in the scenario for the students to access PowerShell 
and they're going to IP config. And I can see indeed things are down here as well. I'm starting to suspect though that the issue is that there might be there might be a problem with a cable. So let's go to our hardware view in this lab. So I toggle over to hardware view. I can click on the back view of the workstation. And when I click on the network cable, it highlights here and the other end highlights here. But I want to zoom in and there's another key item that I should be able to catch on to. There's no flashing light. If I had a green flashing light here, I'd know that I have connectivity. And I don't have that, which further makes me suspect that it's probably this cable that's the issue. So I can open up my cables on the shelf on the left. Let's go ahead and grab one end of the cable, drag it over, and then we're going to grab the other end of the cable. And in doing so, it's going to put it on the shelf. So uh, there's the cable that was faulty. We believe it's faulty. Let's grab our CAT6 cable here and put the tip of my arrow. So to drag items, I simply go ahead and, and click on it and hold. And then I can drag over and it will come with me. And I could put the tip of my arrow where I want it to connect. I think this my image bubble was getting in the way of that happening. OK, let's go ahead and click. Put the tip of my arrow where it's supposed to connect. Once uh, I do that, I can see both ends of the cable. The other end is still available. Let's collect, connect that to our network over here. Now that those are plugged in, let's go ahead. First of all, zoom in. And I, I can already see a good sign here. I've got the green flashing light. Let's go back over to my monitor, click on the monitor here to go back in the windows. And then to the bottom right here, I can see I have ethernet internet access. So click on it, right click on that and I can even see more details if I want to. Also, I have the option if I'd like, well, we, and we asked the student to do this in this lab is run IP config again. And I can see that, yes, I'm connected. So the issue has been resolved. Let's go back over to floor one overview or sorry, back to uh, Office 2. That's the hardware view. And then floor one overview, I want to go back to my office as an IT admin. Let's click on the software there. And I have the ticket here. So I should be opening this ticket and entering a new comment for time's sake. I'm not going to do that. And I'll show you what happens if I don't complete the whole lab correctly. So let's go ahead and click on score lab now in the upper right. And I can see I got a four out of a three out of four, 75% grade on the lab. If I'm integrated with Blackboard, Moodle, Canvas, Brightspace, or any other learning management system that's LTI compatible, these grades will carry over. I can also see a breakdown on how well I perform for the different tasks. I did everything correct, except I did not finish the last task. I hope you found this to be beneficial. We would love to get you access so that you can experience these labs are really designed to help your students prepare for career success, academic success, and sharpen their critical thinking skills.